Hi, welcome back to Storyline, in this video we will summarize one of the films entitled Mechanic, Resurrection, release on 2016. Before watching the plot of this film, it's better for you to watch the mechanic first, so that you understand more about the plot of the film, the link for the mechanic first is in the bio. Spoiler ahead, watch out, and take care. Having previously managed to fake his death, now Arthur begins his new life by living on a private ship. Precisely in one of the piers in Brazil. At first Arthur's life seemed normal and no one knew that this man was an assassin. Until one day, a woman came to Arthur. Intending to convey her boss's message offering Arthur a job like before. But of course Arthur refused, because he was at peace with the life he is now. Then the woman threatens to hand over CCTV footage to his company that Arthur is still alive and that her man will kill Arthur if he puts up a fight. Annoyed by the threat, Arthur was able to easily paralyze them all. After disabling them. Now Arthur decides to leave that place, and lives on a remote island in Thailand. There he will stay temporarily at the residence of his old friend named May. It turned out that Arthur had previously lived there, and in the same room. It was evident from him hiding his personal belongings under the floor of the room. With a photo of the woman he managed to take. Arthur begins to find out who the woman is and the people she is associated with. Then Arthur gets evidence that the woman is a fugitive for drug dealing and murder cases. Meanwhile, the woman's boss is a mafia with illegal firearm sales cases, named Crane. Long story short, one night May saw a private ship floating not far from the shore. On the ship May saw a woman who had been abused by a man. May rushed to ask Arthur to save the woman. Although at first Arthur refused. But because of persuasion from May. Arthur finally went straight to the ship. When they got there, a fight broke out between the two of them. Unfortunately, Arthur accidentally slammed the man to death. At the right time, May finally arrived on the ship. Seeing the woman's unconscious state, Arthur handed the woman over to May. While Arthur will erase the traces of that night's events. But before Arthur burned the ship, he was shocked. Because he found a photo of himself in the woman's cell phone. After burning the ship, Arthur immediately interrogated the woman named Gina. It turns out that Gina is Crane's messenger. And Gina was forced and threatened to approach Arthur. Meanwhile, the man who was killed by Arthur on the ship was Crane's messenger who was tasked with bringing Gina to the island. But because the man was drunk. The man actually did things outside of their plans, Arthur tries to find Gina's true identity and it is discovered that Gina is a former special military agent. Since her last assignment, she has formed a humanitarian organization to help protect victims of human trafficking, especially children in Cambodia. This fact is also reinforced by Gina's confession. That Gina was threatened with death by Crane including the children she was protecting. Arthur slowly began to trust Gina, and this is where they got to know each other, and the seeds of love began to grow between the two of them. Until one day, Crane's men came to the island disguised as policemen. Arthur has a plan to surrender so that he can be brought to meet Crane and then Arthur will kill Crane directly. Sin moved to Bangkok, Thailand. Arthur is brought in to meet Crane. There Arthur is given three missions in exchange for Gina to be freed. In his first mission, Arthur was assigned to kill a warlord who also worked as the largest arms dealer in Africa, and the man named Krill. But it is not easy to kill him because Krill is imprisoned on a remote island in the middle of the sea, precisely in Malaysia, and Krill is also always escorted by his loyal subordinates. Before entering there, Arthur prepared some equipment to escape after his mission was successful later. Arthur also tattooed his face to look similar to one of the most dangerous sex fugitives in Malaysia. To launch his plan, Arthur makes trouble with the local police, which immediately results in Arthur being immediately imprisoned in the place where Krill is being held. After studying the movements and people associated with Krill. Finally, Arthur can launch his action when he learns that one of Krill's former subordinates who betrayed will kill Krill. Arthur quickly threw the knife he had stolen from the other inmates. Immediately the man died on the spot. Krill who saw this felt indebted to Arthur and invited Arthur to have dinner with him. Without the slightest suspicion. Krill invites Arthur to be his subordinate, and Krill will also give Arthur a job after he gets out of prison. Don't want to waste time. When Arthur saw the off-guard Krill, he immediately strangled him until Krill passed out. Then Arthur put the liquid into Krill's mouth which instantly made Krill's body convulse and then die. To trick Krill's men, Arthur positioned Krill's corpse as if he was praying. Not long ago, Krill's death was discovered and made everyone in the prison shocked. By taking advantage of the situation, Arthur immediately blows up the wall with explosives hidden in the gum. 
Then Arthur immediately jumped into the sea and swam towards the pickup ship that had been sent by Krill earlier. Not wanting to waste time, Arthur immediately carried out his second mission. Namely killing a mining billionaire named Adrian. Before carrying out his assassination, Arthur did some research to find out the daily activities of the target. It is known that Adrian always swims in the pool above his building. Seeing the gap of opportunity, Arthur disguised himself to enter the building and then climbed the building from the outside, to get right under the pool. After that Arthur punched a hole in the pool glass and then inserted some kind of chemical whose reaction later, would instantly break the pool floor. As a result, Adrian, who was swimming, died horribly as a result of falling from his own pool. The news was also confirmed by the media if Adrian died in an accident. After successfully completing both missions, Arthur was given the opportunity to call Gina. Seeing opportunities. Gina shifted her camera and gave Arthur some kind of code, namely the registration number of the ship where Gina was hidden. Arthur immediately found out where the ship's position was. Arriving at the ship. Arthur slowly sneaked into the ship, and paralyzed Crane's men one by one. Then the fight scene ensued. However, due to being outnumbered Arthur can finally be paralyzed. Crane threatens to kill Gina if Arthur doesn't do his third mission. Annoyed and unwilling to be controlled by Crane, Arthur put up a fight to paralyze several of Crane's men, then he immediately fled using a tool that had been prepared in advance under the hull of the ship. Sin moves to Bulgaria where Arthur will execute his third target, that person is the largest arms dealer from America named Max. But it is not an easy matter to be able to break into his residence, because Max's residence is equipped with super tight security devices. Not Arthur if he doesn't find a solution. Arthur decides to enter a hospital building, then shoots one of the guards on the helipad of the target's residence. After that Arthur immediately slipped into the hospital's helicopter which would help the guard. Arriving there, Arthur easily entered Max's residence. Several of Max's men were easily knocked out and Arthur quickly slipped in through the air vents. Immediately the emergency alarm sounded, indicating the building was under attack. Max, escorted by his men, immediately entered the bunker and the unexpected happened. Where Arthur had already entered the bunker. There was a conversation between Arthur and Max. Arthur said Crane was the one who sent him there. However, because Arthur does not want to be used by Crane, Arthur invites Max to conspire to kill Crane. A deal ensues, where Arthur plans to fake Max's death. Which later, the news of the death will provoke Crane's men to come to take the submarine owned by Max. And there, Arthur will finish off most of Crane's men. After all the plans were prepared, Max went to his submarine, and Max purposely stood right at the end of the bridge that had been rigged with explosives by Arthur. The bomb explodes, causing Max to fall into the water. Well, it turns out that in the water Arthur was waiting for him with an oxygen cylinder and took Max to a beach to hide for a while. Max's fake death was reported in various media. And the news instantly made Crane hooked on Arthur's trap. Crane then orders his men to steal Max's submarine. Unbeknownst to them, Arthur was ready to welcome them with complete weapons. Dozens of Crane's men were killed on the spot. After finishing with the business, Arthur immediately headed to Crane's ship to complete his plan, which was to kill Crane. Because some of Crane's men have been killed, Arthur was easier to break into the ship. Gina noticed Arthur's arrival. Gina tried to put up a fight. But unfortunately, Gina was hit by a shot right in the stomach. After that Crane forced Gina to get into the ship to lure Arthur. Crane plans to blow up the ship with Arthur and Gina on board. While later Crane will escape using his helicopter. Arthur, who managed to find Gina's whereabouts, immediately brought Gina into a rescue capsule so that he could avoid the explosion. Meanwhile, Arthur, who had already had a grudge, decided to kill everyone on the ship. With the great skills he has, Arthur was able to overthrow all of Crane's men easily. Until finally only Crane and Arthur were left on the ship. Arthur easily tied Crane's body with anchor chains. And moments before the ship exploded, Arthur instead ran into the ship. And after that the private ship exploded violently and shattered into pieces. On the other hand, Gina was rescued by local officers, while Arthur was confirmed dead because they did not find his body. A few weeks passed, 
Gina was active again in managing her humanitarian organization in Cambodia. But one day, Gina was shocked to see Arthur who suddenly appeared in front of her. So before, Arthur's goal of running into the ship just before the ship exploded was to take cover in the anchor storage room. Where that part is the strongest part of the ship and allows the presence of oxygen in the room, even though it is submerged in water. This was also reinforced when Max saw CCTV footage to monitor the pieces of the ship that had been transported ashore, seen, Arthur casually got out of from there. And after that the film is finished. Thank you for those of you who have watched to the end. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. See you in the next video.